Hi guys, my name is Ashley and today we're going to let a playlist pick my TBR. So if you don't know, Chloe from Persistent Bookworm made a West End Reads readathon which is based around musical theatre. Now I'm a massive musical theatre fan, I do um, drama, I have fun, I love musicals so of course I was going to join this. So what I thought would be fun would be if I picked a song from each of the 60 musicals that are the prompts and just let my shuffle button decide what we're reading. We're going to hit play, we're going to skip the first one and then the next five are going to be the prompts. We are doing the Book of Mormon. So the first prompt was read a book with religion. So I am picking After the Fire by Will Hill. This is a book about a religious cult and there is a fire that happens and then all of the kids go into therapy and it's kind of figuring out what happened and stuff like that. I've wanted to read this for absolutely ages. I keep on meaning to pick it up again because I've read a little bit and I was really uncomfortable at the time. But yeah, I'm going to read this. Should be fun. Prompt number two. Funny Girl. Prompt number two was Funny Girl, based on a true story. And I'm going to go with A Forest of Vanity and Valour, which is a, um, I don't know if it's a bit of a stretch, but it is a Robin Hood retelling. So I'm going to say that it is, yeah, it's it's a true enough of a story. I am reading this for the Barely Adulting Book Club with Lisa and Jem. They were kind enough to invite me on. I'm very, very excited for that. That's going to be so much fun. So I thought, you know, if I can get that on, I would be very, very excited. So that is what I'm going to be reading for the second prompt. Prompt number three. Boo, I'm now taking over this part of the video because I'm going to pick the next prompt. Well, not me, the playlist is going to pick the prompt, but Anyway, so hello, I am Alice for those of you who don't know me and I share the brain cell with Smash and I'm equally as chaotic and I make even less sense at times and so let's just find out what the prompt is going to be. Let's go. Okay, I pressed it. Ooh, okay. I don't want to let that play too long because it's copyright but we got a song from Chess the Musical I can't read backwards, I'm too tired. Which is, I know him so well. I know him so well. I've heard of Chess, the musical. I've not been that interested in it. Right, let's find out what the prompt is. Thank God Chloe put these in alphabetical order because otherwise I would cry. A monochromatic book. Ooh. That is a good prompt. However, I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling that prompt is probably going to have to be stretched a bit, but it's fine, it's fine. And then over back to Smash to tell you what we picked or what she picked. Prompt number three, monochromatic, because me and Alice have decided we're going to buddy read this one because we thought it would be funny, the fact that she picked the prompt that she would have to read it as well. We have decided we are going to be reading Furthermore by Tahira Mafi. Um, so that is going to be our monochromatic one because it is about a girl who, um, in a world of colour, she is, she has no colour. She is void of colour. And we thought that would be a fun twist to go for that prompt. So that is what we're picking. Well, I guess I wasn't allowed to pick prompt number three. So the brain cell did. Prompt number four. Superior. Um, prompt number four is Moulin Rouge. Prompt number four was reread a favourite. Now, this may not be my favourite in the series. However, this is one of my all-time favourite series. This is one of my all-time favourite series. And... We are doing a re we are doing a buddy read. This is a buddy read I'm doing with Becca, Catherine, Siobhan, and now Liv is joining. Very excited for that. And we are reading Tower of Dawn. So 
perfect one to go with this one. I have the lovely blue sprayed edge one. I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited for this. And the final prompt is... And finally, um, everybody's talking about Jamie. Read a book set in your hometown. Now I'm going to pick Penshaw by LJ Ross because this is set in Sunderland. Do I know what this book is about? Do I hell? Essentially, it was one of those things of there is nothing set up here. Nothing is set in my hometown. So this was like a, oh, what can I do? So when I kind of got to this prompt, I was like, oh, this is not going to be very good. This is a crime series where it is all set around the Northeast. And that's book 18 out of 20. Like, it's fine. I'm just going to read it. Does, am I going to understand what's going on? No. Does it matter? No. That is it. I think that's all I'm going to say. Um, I have some chunky books on. Like, these are the only physical ones I have at the moment. And this is chunky already. So, should be interesting. But, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys are joining in. Um, Let me know what your favourite musical is or what books you would have picked for these prompts. And, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <sighs> Fuck, I didn't end it. I pressed pause instead of end.